Hey yo! What is up, VOD viewers, early YouTubians? Thank you for being here. Like the dang stream, why don't you? While you're here, might as well. Welcome to the stream. I hope you like the vibe. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna clap some cheeks. Now be a good chatter and don't be a piece. What up, Max? Bigs. What up, Agent 22? Bigs. 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 Let's Bigs. get it. Bigs. Ooh. What's up, Dandy? For the two months, thank you, thank you. To like and subscribe. They massacred your boy Zabu. Ah, it needed to happen. He'll come back, probably stronger. Welcome to the stream. I hope you like the vibe. If you're watching on YouTube, like not and stronger subscribe. than he was. Stronger We're than gonna he was, play some games. We're gonna clap. I'm excited some to have a non-Zabu. Now be a good chatter world. and don't be. What's up, Yardy boy? Binks. Osborne. Binks. What's up, Judah Blazian? Binks. Yeah, Binks. yeah, making up for Binks. missing a bunch this week. And don't be a piece. Uh, it's gonna be a little over two hours of snap, and then about two hours of balatro. Uh, I'm trying something new on YouTube. So on this you like the YouTube Binks. channel, Binks. there will be all the snap stuff, Binks. and then it's going to raid into my extra channel afterwards if you're watching on youtube and i hope like it'll work and subscribe. <laughs> i'm pretty sure i have it set up to work what's up jwa what's up steven like the stream so true and base being here bright and early thank you thank you appreciate y'all hope you're having a wonderful day uh excited to check catchy song thank you thank you surfer high evo interesting i can see that being okay it's probably worse than regular high evo but, but we love a we love a hybrid deck We love us a hybrid deck here. Uh, let's talk about the decks today. We're going to jump in pretty quickly. Uh, this is Burst C3. I've had this idea for a little bit, but it's kind of lacked enough impactful two drops to make happen. Essentially, the idea behind this deck uh, is to play C3 as a six turn game. So a lot of C3 really likes magic now. But what we're just trying to do is put make the curve as insanely low as possible. So you'll see there are seven two drops. The only three drops are Cerebro Mystique and then Shang-Chi. So we want to clear our hand and get just as many cards out as possible. Uh, we have Quake to do some disruption. Uh, Scarlet Witch can be annoying. Shang-Chi to clear up some things. Uh, we have Jeff to get into some weird locations. Quake also helps with that. Armor is like the, the 12th card. I'm not sure if that should change at, at the moment. It's in there just to kind of be some anti-destroy tech. Uh, but there's a chance that it gets changed throughout the stream. I haven't really decided what else I would want. There's not too many other impactful two threes. Uh, maybe like an invisible woman would be kind of good. Um... I haven't decided yet. You can think about like Swarm with Blade, but I, I don't think that that's very good. Iron Man for Ravona, you are missing the point of the deck. Point of the deck is to play everything. Iron Man costs a lot. 
Mordo, you want to play a shocker with a downside? I, I don't think so. Yo, Payton's face. Thanks so much for becoming a Binks fan. Oh, yeah, everybody's a Binks fan. And K Molina, thank you as well. Thank you, thank you. Got a hype train. Oh my gosh. Choo choo. Um. Hulkbuster. Yeah, that's an impactful card. It's true. Three cards that are difficult to make you quit fit in a deck. Uh, I mean, cards that are just horrific, like Quicksilver. Uh, Quicksilver. Havoc's kind of hard to make work. You have to really build a deck around it. Uh, like Baron Mordo. Like, I, I don't think there's any reason to ever have it in your deck. Even Ronin decks just like Master Mold better. Zabu for Shang-Chi on turn six. I, 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 I mean, we already have... I, I don't think so. Uh, the chance to get a one-cost discount on one other card isn't really the impact I'm looking for. Could also maybe do like a 3-3. Like I was thinking Mobius could be pretty good. Um, Cosmo could be pretty good. So maybe maybe if we're realizing that we're just getting everything out of hand super easily, then we could uh, switch it to like a Cosmo or something like that. Swarm? Uh, I mean, the only discard card we have is Blade, so it's a 2-3 almost always. Yeah, Gambit I actually considered. But you want to be have everything you play be like relatively proactive. Uh, the only non-proactive card we have is Shang Chi and arguably U.S. Agent. Uh, then like Blade Zero, you kind of have some issues with. Uh, if you're you're usually holding those to the final turn. Um, I think Mobius might be a really good play for armor, but but we'll see as we get in. Uh, but thank you so much for being here. Welcome back, Ad Enjoyers. Thank you for enjoying the ads. Uh, let's play some Marvel Snap. Yeah, Cosmo, Cosmo I could do for armor. I mean, it kind of does a similar thing that armor does in the deck as stopping destroy, but also can help some other decks. We'll, 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 we'll see, see how it goes. What about Gene? Uh, probably hurts us more than our opponent. Okay, so we already have a card that we, or a location we can't use without Scarlet Witch. Uh, let's do Sentinel. Let's keep our options open. Why do we want to play all the cards? Why wouldn't we want to play all the cards? Okay. Um, we're probably cooked. Dealing with two negative uh, or anti locations is very hard for us. Um, and we need Scarlet Witch no matter what. It's tough. Let's get uh, let's get uh, Ravona down. A bit more impactful. Average three per game. Yeah, it's tough. We can deal with one pretty easily. Okay, we have our witch. We also can't use Quake. Let's get Jeff in here. Washington, D.C. Okay, we're missing both Mystique and Cerebro. Um, we're probably just cooked here. Pretty, pretty easy for us to want to uh, leave this game. Okay, black hat down. Tough game. Yo! Dar Saxon, thank you so much for the five gifties. I super appreciate it. Keeping that hype train alive. Thank you, thank you. Escaped. Yeah, not being able to run Luke Cage is tough. I mean, we're probably going to have a lot of trouble against that Hella deck either way. But um, not drawing Cerebro and having two bad locations kind of made that pretty tough. We could add Rhino, but I think Rhino sucks. 
fifty percent more than uh, Scarlet Witch for for very little like payoff. Uh, this blade could be really nice for us later. Uh, we didn't get the priority flip, so we can't stop them from getting value off of here. We do anyway. Very nice. This is probably fine. Could cause us some issues. We're gonna do this. Okay, We're getting magic. Very likely that this is tribunal, and U.S. agent can can do a lot of damage to them. Uh, four energy here. Let's go quake left. Well, we'll stay in. If they're tribunal, like U.S. agent is is very hard for them to deal with. We still need uh, we still need obviously cerebro. Blade Ghost Rider, it seems not very good. Blade, you just kind of hold until the end or you zero it. Still really need our Cerebro. I think our game plan is going to be to win left and middle and U.S. Agent right. This turn's probably just Sentinel. It's probably the MODOK version. Now that I'm looking at this a little bit more, the Modoc version makes a lot more sense with having Red Hulk. Still no Cerebro in hand, by the way. Uh, Shang-Chi isn't probably going to be super impactful. Go US Agent Metal. Hope the to top deck Cerebro and a Cerebro Mystique Va Wave or Cerebro Mystique Blade. Let's see what it looks like. Really just all depends on where they're um where everything lies. Smash us most likely. Damn close, man. Three points in two lanes. If we had Red Hulk land middle, it would only be one point in two lanes. Tough game. I'm happy that I played it out though. Much closer than you thought. Yeah, I mean, beginning 28 in two lanes is pretty strong. It's kind of the kind of a big point of the deck is to be able to burst your hand out so that you can get to that double twenty eight. I think Red Hulk will get a nerf soon. Yeah, I think Red Hulk might be a little bit overtuned. I, I certainly agree with that. Double on reveals mean very little to me. 
Hold the zero for now. I really want to give them an armor lane. Let's uh, let's Scarlet Witch right, knowing that left and middle aren't super impactful. Could also zero this armor next turn potentially. I think we will be zeroing the armor. Uh, we want to try and stay behind, ideally, and then get a double Sean on the final turn. Uh, would be our best line. Kind of need Ravona to make that happen. We'll see. Try this. It's double threes to play next turn. Okay, we get over top for Asgard, which is nice. Ravona top deck would be huge. No oh, Ravona top deck. Tough. Mm. Quake could cause some problems. I really would like to stay behind. Problem right now is that I can't Cerebro and Sean next turn. Which is really what I'd ideally want to do. I think we do try and flip the London. I can't. <laughs> I'd have to go here. Maybe that's fine. We're going to get a lot of points, man. Snap. We're going to have a lot of points here. You have USA Chains Invisible and a good sub? Definitely. Yeah. De definitely not needed card. Ooh. Do you want to play all your cards? that awkward. I think I only want single Mystique. Otherwise they could probably beat us left. I think I only want single Mystique. So we can make sure that we have a good chance of winning left and middle. Really glad we only wanted single mystique. <laughs> That's a casserole. GG's paper. Victory. Yeah, double mystique is always like quad quadruple uh, cerebro trigger is always pretty scary. Not nine is usually a really good line to be in. Mmm, casserole, so good. Havoc and Hulk in the same deck is. Kind of wild to me. I mean, maybe they're just hoping hope triggers can make it work. Interesting cook there by paper. Morning, Voltrox. Thank you for being here. Typical gamer enjoyer. It, it can be a trap to double Mystique there and just hope to get so so good. Hulk is so over two and a lot of decks run it as a plan B for turn six. Uh, it's true. Uh, 
That is, that is indeed true. I think I will probably get adjusted. Uh, I haven't seen, I haven't really looked at the stats too much, but anytime I play the card, it feels really strong. Get our Cerebro down. Not really respect uh, anything they can do. We're gonna aim to Quake Middle on the final turn. Swap Mojo World. Never mind. I will not be doing that ish. Um, I don't think I can play this blade yet with um, a limbo game. Maybe I'm just confident I can draw Scarlet Witch in the next two turns. Hmm. I could just play it next turn either way, right? I can just play it next turn no matter what. Shang-Chi. Oh, you zeroed my blade for me. Thank you for zeroing my blade. Look how thin my deck is. I have a 50-50 for Scarlet Witch now. I said no. Please, Scarlet Witch. Please, please, base Scarlet Witch. like always wins Very, very solid game there, man. No, no complaints. Everything kind of worked perfectly. That was a beautiful game. Very beautiful game. Beautiful. I considered adding Swarm for the Blade. Uh, considered it. I think that it will work. Like one in 20 games, so it's probably not worth it. Blade and Zero, we're very, we either play them together, uh, we blade a card we don't care about, or we just save them for the final turn and do like a big burst turn. Personally sick of mill decks. Um, if you remember that they're bad, it usually helps. The new mill deck is pretty good. This is true. Moodle, the new mill deck is pretty solid. Mm, she played Sentinel. But it is frustrating for, for, for certain. I do very much feel though at their core they're they're still very flawed decks. Next turn's double two. Wind, aid my 
Juggernaut will be an issue here. They both stayed alive. Juggernaut's an issue. Oh, you know what? As a much better play. This. This is tough. Oh man. We'd be in a great spot if they took Pryo, but with them not taking Pryo, I think we might be cooked. Odin middle just kind of crushes us, right? Okay, this is stupid. But what if Scarlet Witch... Uh... Yeah, Primo, you got it. Uh, Scarlet Witch Hail Mary. Thought of Cosmo instead of US Agent? I think I would cut um, armor first. As a matter of fact, it helped them. Are ye worthy? Are ye I guess worthy? I could have just went all and left. I didn't really think that Odin left doesn't push that much power left. So if the Scarlet Witch just went left, we just win. It's interesting. Juggernaut? Um, Juggernaut, you kind of have to wait until the very end of the game. There's a chance armor becomes Cosmo. I want. I want to give the. I, I, I want to try the seven two drops thing to see how much it works. And maybe with like Sentinel, like you don't need as many two drops because Sentinel can just keep keep giving us some. Uh, I do want to get like just a, a good lay of the land though for the deck before I start making too many adjustments. I think U.S. Agent is quite quite good in this deck. Uh, we have like exactly one card that gets hit by it. Very often we can make it a 2-6. Uh, and it's nice to be able to ha play a 2-6. Okay, we have our Scarlet Witch Lane. Let's just take it now. Can you make a C-10 deck? I certainly could. Rhino Enjoyers, that one's for you. I should have played the Cerebro, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. This is just, this is weird. This, this just crushes me. Probably should just Ravona. Now we we have we have we have outs. We have outs, chat. We have outs.
Just try to quake now? That's a good point. Quake would cook really hard right now. Yeah, the, that's the out is Jeff getting his plus 15, right? All systems go. I, if we win this game, it's going to be very surprising. <laughs> I, they have to be 21 right. It's no joke. Minions. Cannonball is going to be annoying as hell. Yeah, the cannonball right's gonna crush me, fortunately. Didn't even need the cannonball. GG's. Black just left would've won the game, so true. I would not have won the game, actually. Black just left would've went off. It would have destroyed all my other cards. All the mystiques would have went to uh, plus eight. I would have loved that they Galactus left. I wish I was facing one of you guys and y'all had Galactus left. That would have been great. Oh, it would have won for me. Gotcha, gotcha. This is true. That's my words, I am smart. Galactus and C5? Could work. Be pretty bad. Could work. Need, we need witch. We need witch pretty bad. We also kind of need a witch like exactly this turn. do this and hope to get mystique next turn cannonball will be an issue no matter what i don't know if i want to move the jeff or not because if they lock me down left i'm screwed i think I think we're just cooked, no matter what, but I think this might give us the best chance.
We're definitely running if they snap. How do they win? Century ties right. Cannonball doesn't work. Century 2 drop? They don't really run many 2 drops. Century Jeff? Did, I don't think a lot of uh, junk decks run Jeff. Could be Titania, yeah. I, I just, I you know, it's... Cannonball doesn't really work. I, I don't know. I felt confident. I clearly, I mean, they, they knew all the information and they couldn't do it. So clearly I was right. I think it was more than a, um, I think it was more than a, um, one in. Okay. Now the burst be bursting. I really need Sentinel. We're going to fill middle and then, uh, quake it. Valo. We're playing some Burst C3. Super aggressive C3 deck. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm doing a Friday stream because I missed what, Sunday through Tuesday last week. Why is it burst? Because it's insanely low curve. We have seven two drops, two one drops. So basically the goal is to just like get everything out of your hand. Oh, I hope those are really high power cards that you played. This doesn't do anything, right? But we did armor it. Why did they play it? Didn't, wasn't armor already there? I'm confused. Movement Tribunal? But like, doesn't that usually run Phoenix? Am I crazy for thinking that? How is that five power? Because the base power is two and it's getting plus three. They're likely going to move it first, but you can't move it and have a free lane to destroy it. It's impossible. They're going to move it, they have to kill their um, Ghost Spider too. Son of a bitch, dude. Scarlet Witch has been cooking me, man. Scarlet Witch has been absolutely cooking me. US Agent worth it? Probably not. Um, it, it, the problem with US Agent is that... Uh, you really, you either have to include Luke in your deck and then you have to draw and play Luke. Or, um, or you have to have a very, like a deck like this that has like one four drop. But what's, what's coming out with you as agent is like at, at its core, it, it can be powerful, right? Like if you get even one trigger on it, it's Maximus level stats. A lot of decks run Maximus, even though Maximus has a much bigger downside. 
The problem is, is that you kind of have to play it at the end of the game. You have to hope your opponent has big cards somewhere, and you have to make... You, you, you have to have that be impactful, so you have to choose the lane. So there's like a lot of problems with um, it working. Take her out so inconsistent? Absolutely not. You can be a coward and run... Um, you're, you're allowed to be a coward and run Rhino if you would like. It's always been an option. Right, absolute worst worst possible Sakaar outcome. Dex a coward. I mean, any, anyone anyone who chooses to run uh, anyone who chooses to run Rhino over Scarlet Witch in C three is a coward. Yes. If that includes if that includes Dexter, it includes Dexter. Yeah, yeah, Chocolate Rain, exactly. Our winning line is gonna be That's our last card. Okay, if we don't top deck Cerebro, we just leave. <laughs> nice mill, by the way. Okay, and then next turn we could just go 2 2 1 1. Full burst, turn off uh, Limbo. Make everything 5. Should be strong enough. C3 the best bro deck? I don't know. C2 has an argument. C4 is getting some traction. C5 is, is an argument. I don't know what the stats say exactly. My doc? Mm. That's true. I won't snap then. I think we want 15 middle. And let's go 20 left. Uh, we should play Blade first, just in case of... Um Just in case they dock Ock our Sentinel. Could be could be important. Real burst turn? Yeah, maybe I should have snapped. But I think I was right to uh to fear. Nice. Easy wins, boys. Uh unless uh, Scarlet Witch screws us. One more turn, are you sure? Victory. GG's. <laughs> well done, opponent. They, they did mill me. They did mill me. And now they had, what, five shots at taking out my Cerebro or something like that? And they missed every time. <laughs> Winning that game while losing the Mystique early was was really good too. And Takaki and Pryo? What does that mean? Oh, because they had Pryo, if they Takaki wouldn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we'll make decision next turn if we go for left or not, uh, based on Quake. Want to dig me Stark Tower again? She's she just likes Stark, man. 
Double Ravona is quite nice. Sinister London is a great location for us. Go left, please. Okay. Make that play is if you don't have Hella in hand. So they have three top decks for Hella, 50 50 that they'll get it. Uh, I tell you what, Chad, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. We are going to set up to move Nexus. I, know, I mean, it might not matter if they Hella, right? Because you can't quake the Nexus left. It won't work. Got for Sandman? Yeah. That'll be an issue. Okay, so Sandman will just cook us, and we don't we don't have an ability to deal with that. We just have to accept it. But if they don't Sandman here, what we're gonna do is double Jeff left, Scarlet Witch middle, Quake middle, something left. Now, this could definitely still not work. Depending on where their hell is hit. Or if this screws us again. Who said that? Java the Jub Jub? You're actually just banned. Minions to me. All left. the drag black um black cat discards first black cat discards at end of turn the uh, dracula discards end of game <laughs> uh java uh, jump jump that was hilarious you literally called it out exactly in nowhere incoming. Now, it would have been amazing if they had played the Hella Middle. If they had played the Hella Middle, that would have been crazy, dude.
Yeah, and if the blade hadn't stopped, um, if the nowhere hadn't stopped blade from triggering, then the ha black hat would have been in the hollow pool. So, so many great things happen there. Hello, it's OP and second there nerfed Apocalypse. Uh, this card had a better win rate and cube rate than uh, Hella at the time that they nerfed it. Hella is getting better now, though, for certain. We just have to get rid of this. Dude, we missed priority flip again. Okay, well, at least we don't get punished. Dude. <laughs> So bad, man. Escaped. We're getting all the bad Scarlet Witch luck out of the way. Could have guaranteed Nexus left with two quakes and put Mystique right to block the second quake. Ah, oh, that's a really, really smart idea. What about Rhino? Cost too much. My armor is Sean deck. Uh, you just need something impactful. We haven't run into any destroy, but armor is obviously very good against destroy. Kind of just helps us in that matchup by a lot. It's a pretty tough matchup for us too. That cares a lot about burst. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I think Agent would be good if it only affected enemy cards. It'd be better, for sure. We need to get to our one drops, man. Desperately need to get to our one drops. Negative actually has a pretty tough time with Mojo World. Dude, we need our one drops, man. As you can see right now, US Agent is a 16 power card. That's pretty good. How do we best use our resources here? Doesn't matter. That chat. I don't know if you saw, that was a 216 US agent. I was gonna try and get Mojo left, because they already had three cards mid. So Mojo mid isn't really that good for us. But I was gonna try and move Jeff and move Mojo left and then play cards left. 216, 216 would be pretty good. I'm just saying. I would run that in a lot of decks at 216. <laughs> uh, US Agent could be Invisible Woman. You could try Cosmo. Just as an impactful two cost card preferred or, or three cost.
Nice play with you as agent, dude. It needed it needed something, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! What sort of ability would you need to make a two sixteen balanced? Um, I don't know. Not like nothing. The problem with like any ability is that you can just zero it, right? So I don't I don't think that you could you could sum up a way to make a card balance that's a 216. Alright, we're C we're C5 now. Never fear. Uh, we're gonna quake. A quake middle. Stop them from doing Odin stuff. Uh, we should play armor then. Hmm. Do this. We might need this armor somewhere else because it's, it's one of our only ways to get power. This is probably a Mr. Negative deck, right? Okay, so they want to Odin this, which is this makes the wand really nice. Wait, it doesn't. What am I talking about? Jesus Christ. Oh, now you do that. Now you make me a Cerebro 5. Peace. I don't know. Never mind. I thought this was the other one, Chad. I'm sorry. I, I agree that was stupid. I'm, I'm on your team in, the, in that regard. Don't worry. We, we, we have an agreement there that uh, I was dumb. Why does this cost one? Oh, Ravona. Nice. I don't know what is going to happen here. Maybe it's White Tiger. I don't know why I'm armoring every lane either. Don't worry. Minus one power for each energy spent over the game. But you can you can just zero it. This is the thing. You, you could simply play zero. Perfectly timed snap. Let's uh, let's try let's try Cosmo for armor. Uh, we're actually we're gonna run through in a break. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay five dollars. Check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Uh, value your piece, by the way. Get saucy. Sorry if you're not a sub. Do you know I can look away while juggling? <laughs> It's an important it's an important practice in juggling to be able to not look at what's happening. Um but um let's play Bandle. Bandle! 1994. 500 million views. Difficulty hard. Get your votes in. Uh, I'll be back in a minute.
Hello, I'm back. Anyone have the issue on mobile where the end turn buttons work? It happens sometimes. If you close out of the game immediately, like... You close out of the game and restart on a turn. Like, if it happens, let it go down. Make your play so it stops. Exit the app, reopen it. Usually, uh, we'll fix it. At least in my experience. Uh, Bandle, Bandle, Bandle. 90s are kind of my jam, so this should be good. It sounds like a Pink Floyd song. It has echoes, so I'm gonna say echoes. Anything yet? Not a Pink Floyd jig. I'm gonna skip. Is this? I believe you. I believe I can fly. Is it just called fly? I believe I can fly, I can believe I can touch the sky, think about it every night and day, the day, I believe I can soar. What is the name of the song? Fly. Learn to fly, gonna fly now. Fly me to the moon. Feel like flying, fly like an eagle. Ready Fly, Bullet for My Valentine, Learning to Fly by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Also could just definitely be wrong. Is it called like Soar? Can we say Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Learning to Fly? I know that's wrong. Pay out the doubters. Is this, this is, uh, this is the Lion King song! It's Circle of Life from the Lion King. It's the circle of life. Simba's gonna marry his cousin wife. Okay, uh, I thought that was a pretty good joke. Any plus twos in chat? Um... Is it, is it called I Believe I Can Fly? Is that really by R. Kelly? <laughs> Probably not cousin, sister. Eh. Get the flow a little bit better. What is a plus two? It's a joke that originated from Jerma985 stream. Uh, they did a speed run where they would get, they could tell a joke and they would get either Plus two minutes or minus two minutes based on if the chat thought the joke was funny. And it has since become a Twitch meme. So whenever I say something funny, you could just say plus two. Okay. Um, we didn't cut armor like we said we might have. Okay. Um, well, this is a predicament. This is what I'm we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. Everybody's a big fan. I I have no idea what to do. I need Quake. This is what I'm we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. 
I just need to hope to get Quake. Yo, Velo! Thank you so much for the five community gifted. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, based Quake. This is what I'm we sure got. everybody's a Binks fan. But we sure everybody's a Binks fan. Uh, Scarlet and Isle? I would play Scarlet if I had it! Yeah, everyone should support Binks. Wake less, doesn't matter. These were tied middle. Crazy that they got Forge on that Iron Lad. O seven 7 for Quake. Yeah. O seven 7 for Quake indeed. Uh, I mean, we're cooked, right? Got a damn bike bell. Oh, whatever. What does the sub notification say? It's a uh, Ludwig, uh, YouTube extraordinaire, saying I'm sure everyone's a Binks fan. He also said this to me. Six, what are you doing? Uh, if you're talking about the other one, the gifted one, that is the uh, Voros twins, best known for their Davinci mean, saying Davinci. Nuclear alarm type beat. I know. Damn, beat us by two. Oh, geez. Uh, armor top deck there, uh, we get him. Maybe? Maybe not. Or if you're talking about the follow no notification, it's Jar Jar Binks going, Yeah, you used to follow me now, Okie Day! It depends on which one you're talking about. Or if someone plays Thors against you and beat you, you can say something like this. Okay, 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 you, let's kill him. Let's kill this guy. Let's beat him to death with hammers. We got we got lots of fun stuff. The full the Binksy clip clip is hilarious. It's very cringe, dude. Oh snap! It's insanely cringe. Jar Jar is really sick. Change your mind. You sure you want to be? You sure you want to be saying that right now? Is my only question to you? Are you sure that... Are you sure you want to be saying that right now? My only question. Those eyes are so sus. <laughs> Um, I don't know, next turn maybe it's like Nico Quake or something. I think we probably do just Cerebro this turn. Pay out the daughters, by the way. If I have to. I'd prefer not to, but... We have Pryo right now. Just change all the locations.
Hope this wasn't a big card. There would be awkward. Very scary gladiator. Rescue. Holy Bursh. Wait, I'm in danger? Yellow. Cheater. Maybe this isn't the real Mysterio left. You never know. Okay. Oh, that's four points, isn't it? Damn. Well played. I was wondering if maybe they would run from middle after seeing the Spider-Man, but... Tough. Tough game to win there. Maybe I should have snapped with Cerebro and Mystique in hand. Please try three see three discard? No. Turns out it was not the real material left. Do we know? Both of them died. Was the real one middle? The real one's no, it doesn't make sense that the real one was middle, because it got changed. I don't think we know. We don't know, right? There's no way of knowing. Should have played Sentinel. I do want my hand. If you'd gone for Mystique middle and then right side any card, you'd have won easy. Yeah, but like if they would have played middle, which was a very fair assumption to make, yeah, we would have lost. So. I'm missing a draw here, but it should be fine. The real one was right. Yeah, I think the real one was right. That's my guess, too. Smart Super Giant play to avoid this. Very smart Super Giant play. This is hard to do sometimes, but this is very, very smart to avoid um, me blowing up uh, Limbo. Uh, getting a Shang-Chi down is, is quite nice. Christ. 
what's more likely they play a big card right next turn or scarlet witch screws me scarlet witch never screws me i could just play a second strong chi as a joke And you got another freaking Shang Chi. Hulk, Cow, Corvus. As long as Hulk Minions doesn't go left. Me. Okay, we still win. Holy. Wait, we won with any iteration, huh? Victory. Uh, all three. No, we won with any co combination of cards. No, that's not true at all. We needed Hulk left, actually. Sweet, we take those. <laughs> we take those. Boom, boom. Simply run Yellow Jacket for Colleen in a discard deck, so true. Yeah, is, is Blade is the only three cost discarder now, right? Is there another three card? Oh, Moon Knight. Moon Knight's pretty horrible. To oh, Gambit too. Moon Knight Gambit. Hmm. Central Park. Damn close call. Yeah, we could have gotten screwed there. We probably deserved to get screwed there in all honesty. Uh, we have to get Cerebro Mystique out of hand. Let's just get it done now. Gambit Moon Knight, Swarm, Ghost Rider. Well, I meant cards that discard, so not Ghost Rider or Swarm. But yeah, there is Gambit and Moon Knight. That is an awful Corvus. Snap. Now, am I also in a terrible position? Yeah, I am. Not great. Do I throw middle? I think I throw middle. I was hoping I could snap him out of that game. Opponent snapped. Let's stay in it. There's a good chance we can win with a 50 50 Sean. There's no longer a chance that we can win with a 50-50 Sean. Sure, I should have retreated now, probably. Scarlet Wright? Yeah. Scarlet Wright seems like that was the correct play. Then we could have 50 50 Sean. Yeah, you're right. I definitely should have just scarlet it. I could have set myself up for a 50-50 Sean had I scarlet it. Because they were almost certainly playing the Red Hulk, right? Okay, Quake can be really strong. We get Cerebro Mystique or Ravona. If not, we Sentinel. 
Okay. This is fine. Run, bro. Come on, dude. Don't be a coward. I thought I thought people in my chat knew not to be cowards. Sentinel first, right? It looks hard to win. It does. Doesn't mean you should retreat. These things in life that are hard. And also give you great strength. to Red Hulk, but we should be most other things. Should be most other things that aren't... Ah, I can't go in that order. Shit. Damn, not being able to go in that order really hurts. No, we have Pryo, so they'll they'll knock their stuff right anyway. Remember when someone told me to run? Did y'all remember that? Were y'all here? When I, when I was told that I should run? Who here remembers that? This is why you don't fear things! You realize that you have outs. If my opponent had snapped, I probably would run. But if there's no snap there, you don't have to run. You have to believe in yourself. Let the game play out. Find, find winning lines. Play and work out ways to find a win when it seems unlikely. That is how you get good at Marvel Snap. Fear is the mind killer. So true. Now if they snap, then yeah, I'd probably leave there. <laughs> Quake and Scarlet's so underrated. They're so good, man. Quake is so good, dude. Good wins with Quake just hit hit a little different. Good wins with Quake just hit a little different. We can Sentinel Blade next turn. This is another reason why like Sentinel is really nice. It's like we got two we can get two value out of Sentinel and then swap to a uh, blade. And it even works around the Abbey, which is cool. Uh, now, do we just Blade Zero instead? 
Or we could just zero sentinel, right? Zero sentinel works just as well here. Pretty much does the exact same thing. Blade's a little bit easier to work through. Is Ravonna worth 3k tokens? I would say so if you... Uh, she's one of the only good energy cheats left. Um, I think Ravonna's awesome. I love Ravonna decks. Cable, got a Yandu, Cable Kitty. We do have Pryo, so we can mess with them with this Vibranium Mines. Where would they play most likely? I would say left. I'd say left is the most likely spot that they would play. We have a really good matchup against um, uh, Loki, if this is Loki. Solid's going to swap around? Yeah, but we just care about this turn. Like, we infect him this turn, which is important. Well, deck is infected. Uh, we should snap here. I, I mean, I think we... Pretty cleanly have a win. Oh, snap. Yeah. Victory. Cable's a nice addition to this deck. It is not. The card that we get very often we can't play. The fact that Cable removes a card from your opponent's deck is not good. Cable has, is an interesting spot where it's more good than other ones because it's one-sided information where you know what card your opponent doesn't have access to and they don't know what card they don't have access to. But in general, still, you're, you're just thinning their deck for them. And especially if most often you can't play the card, Cable's never, ever worth it. Never, ever. US Agent Thoughts? Pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. I thought it was going to be a bit better than it ended up. A lot of people thought it was going to be trash. I thought it was going to be, like, bad, but all right. Uh, but I think I my I didn't really realize how hard it was to get, like, Maximus level value out of it. Because that was kind of, like, my baseline of what it was. It's just, like, awkward. It becomes kind of awkward. Do have to get rid of this expansion? Non-negotiable. What's my favorite card this season? Like my most wanted one? Um, I don't know, man. I have a great answer for you. Oh, you discarded your whole hand. Wow, that was so lucky. It was like a one in four for them to not hit their swarms. Um, I think we can go like US Agent right, Ravona right. Seems seems quite strong. Valentine will be really cool, yeah. We're gonna have a lot of swarmas. Rumors aren't that scary though. I don't think they can get to 28 anywhere though. We should be getting close to 28 in each lane. Uh, this turn is just Sean. Well, I guess we need we need a top deck Mystique to, to get that. I can just rip this Sean left for stats. Maybe get lucky and they play a giant card over there. My cards! Uh, 
That was painful. Tough. Sentinel earlier would have been really nice. Um, I think we're cooked, though. They have a handful of swarms, right? I think they literally just have seven swarms in their hands. Any reason to go for this? No, we need to full fill left to win, and then they just play swarms right. Just need like two right, and they get us. That gambit hurt, man. Escaped. Selening swarms, yeah. Selening swarms is good, but it's only if it's their lowest power card. I haven't seen much Luke around. Selene's probably okay right now. My question is, leader work with prior without? It's both. Uh, if you get it without prio, any enhancements that happen to the card, you get. So for instance, if your opponent plays blob, if you have prio, you get a 6-0 blob that triggers. If you don't have prio, you get whatever blob they make. So their blob will get to like, what, 6-16. You then get the, the blob and then it triggers again. Uh, so it's much better to play without priority almost always. There's some rare cases where it doesn't really matter. That's the main. Wait, we want Orcus Forge. Yeah, of course, full trucks. And then we'll we'll push that domain left. We'll do like this. The next turn we'll quake sentinel. Can't play blade, right? Gotta remember. Uh, Tribunal gives us issues, but we do have Scarlet Witch to mess with them. Could be magic. If it's magic, it's almost certainly Tribunal. I guess it could be a Cerebro 3 deck too, but... Less likely. Start pumping cards out as much as we can. Uh, we have two draws for Scarlet Witch, which means 40% chance to find it on time. Um, so I'm, I'm somewhat confident here. I think we need Scarlet Witch to win. Okay, we now know they have Mystique in hand. And they're still drawing for Iron Man, which is quite good. Because they would have probably played Iron Man out if they had it. We do need to get our Cerebro stuff going. Snapped. One and four for Scarlet Witch. That helps us win. Order. I'll, I'll stay. Come on, Scarlet, my queen. Oh, US Agent is really good against this too. US Agent is great against this.
Wait, dude. No, you a double US agent is the play for sure. Oh no, I'm gonna zero my sentinel. Ah, uh, oh my, oh, it's sentinel right. Ah, oh, shit, good call. Thank you, front seating. I did tell myself I wouldn't do that, and then I did. Probably split him now, right? I think we have to split him. So they have a single Sarah, it's turn seven. They have seven energy. Tribunal costs five. Yeah, I think we just split. Yeah, we're, we're gonna attack both. Double agent on Iron Man better, they have two Iron Men. This one's just a sneaky mystique. Victory. It, it is not, like, US Agent does have some really, like, it actually has made this matchup feel a lot nicer. Tonight, no, I think that they just didn't draw it. I think they were missing Tribunal in hand. Uh, the, the the reason they wouldn't have jubileed here if they had the combo, right? So they wouldn't be playing jubilee. Like, there's no reason for them to play jubilee here unless they're digging really aggressively to try and find their last card and they missed it. I don't think that's sus, but you guys can think so. Why did they end turn after you did only my last two turns? Uh, well, what if it was flipped and I ended turn after they did it, the last two turns? Would that mean that I'm stream sniping them? Or does that line of thinking, like, not make perfect sense when you extrapolate it like that? I don't think that was sus at all, chat. I think that was a Tribunal deck that had Tribunal as their final card and they'd already played Iron Lad. Had they played Iron Lad already? Or maybe they were hoping to get to Iron Lad to play Iron Lad Tribunal or or something. No, no, because what they were trying to do is get to Iron Lad so that they can play both of them. Right? Because if they just had Tribunal and uh if they had just had Tribunal and Onslaught in hand, it's really hard to get a lot of power. I'm letting a Mystique left, they played. Lad hit Mystique. Right. Yes. Okay, they did play really. Yeah, chat, that was I don't think that was a snipe. Um, like I said, you can <laughs> you can choose to call anything a snipe that you want. But I think that um I think that the, if, if your first inclination whenever you say anything sus is to just call something a snipe without looking at the context of what happened, uh I think that's that, that can lead to a lot of problems. Hmm. I would love to save this for Limbo, but I need to get rid of Nidvalier. I don't really have a choice. What do I play this turn, though? This turn's awkward.
I'd rather hold the rest of the cards. Spreading the Iron Man first and Tandem with Retreat was sus. The reason that they split the Iron Man is because they were they had to dig with Jubilee. So they, they, they had to j dig with Jubilee. If you just play Jubilee middle, you lose. Like if they just play Jubilee middle there and it missed, they just lose instantly. I'm surprised everyone thinks that, it, that it's sus. I really did not find that to be uh, overly sus by any means. We're going to try and uh, put New York middle, I think. I might have Rouge. A little scared of Rouge. Push New York middle. I still okay. believe in heroes. What's the zero for? Uh, it's, there's only two one threes in the whole game, so we had both of them. Good snipe on the U.S. agent. I think this turn we just take our Cerebro Mystique. We don't really have much better to play. I no, I, I have no problem with people suspecting people of stream sniping. But like when they're I, I'm always the benefit of the doubt kind of dude. And I certainly think that the much more likely play or the much more likely thing that happened there was it was Tribunal that missed. It is funny to, to call people stream snipers when you're not streaming, though. That is quite funny. I also, no offense to people in chat, I try not to like flex rank at all. But I do think that also a lot of people in chat. Oh. Spooky. I do think that a lot of people in chat maybe like um, are in a position where they don't, you know, they play at a lower level or they play like in like the 60s and 70s sometimes. Not everyone. Or they play like really high infinite and they expect people to play like a very certain way. Uh, whereas, you know, in t I feel like in top, you know, I'm usually somewhere around like top 3000 influent. Us usually the player pool that you play plays quite a bit differently. I'm going to throw middle. Top decks could be Jeff Blade Sentinel. So I'm getting at most two extra power. So I think we play the... I hate to play the Sean out. I guess we just play the... Let's zero and armor out. It's zero in armor, and then we still have the Sean potentially. Okay, good throw, middle. Save us my mid for Sean? Uh, no. Maybe full throwing was bad. Certainly a chance. Can they ever be 21 left? Task? Convince me? This is a random card though, right? They play right, we kill it. They go left, it has to be 28. I don't think that's really possible. Nice. Big one. Yeah, the Bob came from Fury. Eliath? Chocolate Rain, did you miss an update? I guess they could have a Nick Fury Eliath, which crushes us. This is true. They could have a Nick Fury Eliath, this crushes us.
Uh, dude, this deck is going really well. I, I was, I'm not gonna lie, chat. <laughs> There's sometimes I go into decks and think this deck is gonna be solid and I'll get like a lot of really good stuff out of it. Elioth absolutely would have still worked, yeah. But I was just saying like, you don't, I, you don't play around the card anymore because it doesn't really exist in the meta. It's more, more what I meant by that. You usually I go into streams like this and sometimes I'm like, okay, I understand this is a meme deck and I'll just try my best to have fun. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm going to like, this deck might be weak. It could be a bit up in the air. Sometimes like this deck is clearly strong. I think this will be a really fun stream. It will be really successful. Um, today, <laughs> today I had no idea. I had no idea, man. I did not, I was a bit of a crapshoot. Okay, don't play Jeff, don't play Blade Middle, don't play Zero Middle. I think Elias' current form would be better at lower cost. You could play it at any time. I feel like for an effect that powerful, being a quote unquote boss card is probably right, but I can see both sides. Um, will we need another Sentinel or can we squeak in a blade this turn? I think we squeak in a blade this turn. We don't play at middle. Not in its current power? Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Okay. What are you doing here? I don't really want to give them an armor lane. We're just running out of space. Uh, Central Park has been really hard whenever we've gotten it. It's just Ravona. We can Ravona middle. Ravona and vibe. Middle's our strong lane because the squirrel gets a bonus. Iron Man. Okay, now we want US Agent. Really bad. Now we're kind of like in desperate <laughs> desperation node mode for needing US Agent. What deck is this? It's supposed to be negative that miss negative. I think if we snap, they'll think we have a counter to this and they'll leave. That's that's my intuition. So top deck could be U.S. Agent, Scarlet Witch, Mystique. You can move Jeff. Yeah. Victory. Know what your opponent wants to do if it's not working. Snap him out of the game. Uh, would lives be broken if you remove text from both reveal and unreveal card? Because stream, that's what I would like to see it change to. I think that would be, I think that would be much better, personally. Sniping, maybe? <laughs> I, I hope you're joking. Can you, can you tell me if you're joking? Can you tell me if you're joking, please? You have to be honest with me. Is every tribunal player just a, just a sniper? Is that the thing? New York's such a coin flip, am I right? So true. Okay, once we get access to Cerebro, we're in a really good spot. bit of a problem but we get to nines everywhere it's pretty strong they've only discarded one thing they try magic us we have witch
I don't want to make two super lanes. Make sure we can triple three or triple two. We should have quaked mess with Comertage because this is like a discarder. We're in a bit of trouble. Oh, they're just going for top deck. Hello. It's a one and four. I never respect it. You never respect a one and four. Using Quake to get extra copy. We just don't have time to play them. Fifty fifty. Minions to me. I didn't consider Jubilee. Well played, Wayne. Another situation, maybe I had to move out. Um, think about trying to move Comertage. I think I could have used Quake there to, to secure that game. I just, I didn't, my, my, I wasn't thinking about this. This is something I, I should have thought about. So I was like, oh, it's just a one in four. This was, a, this must have been a top deck, right? So they were like, oh, it's a 50-50 if I top deck Jubilee or Hell, and if I top deck Jubilee, then it's a two and three, so I have like 40% chance of winning. It's tough. Could be Iron Lad too. Do these decks run Jubilee and Iron Lad? I don't think most of them do. I think usually you pick one or one or the other. Maybe some maybe the maybe more uh Hella decks are starting to do that. Yeah, I, th I think it's usually one or the other, right? But like, Jub uh, Iron Lad wouldn't have worked in Comertage in that instance. Dracula was the top tech since it got discarded by Blade. It, doesn't, it didn't matter. There was two cards in hand. Uh, if, Ju like, Jubilee was on the right side and they played it, then then uh, Dracula moves to the, to the middle or to the right side. That actually doesn't matter. Uh, we don't we there, we cannot know the information of which one was top decked is unavailable to us yeah maybe witch cavertage I was a little bit scared of witch screwing us which is why I chose not to do that but Scarlet give, Witch give you Limbo? It can. Yeah. Oh! Should have thought about Quake with Raptors. Quake and Raptors would have been really nice for us. Hmm. Bit of a weird spot here. Yeah, this is awkward. So 
Savage Lands just kind of cooks us. Ah. That might be a way. That might be a way indeed. Uh, one in three, top tech witch. This could be super giant thumb. Uh, I've had that happen to me before. We should probably just run here. They have it almost guaranteed. Super Giant cooked me. Escaped. They should have snapped before playing Super Giant. Maybe, like, if I had um, played Witch that turn or something, though, they could have been in trouble. Or maybe they didn't have the cards yet. Uh, like, ideally, you do want to snap before Super Giant. But it's hard to know what their hand was, right? They might have just top decked their Hella or something. Yeah, Super Giant's cool, man. Super Giant was another card that everyone thought sucked ass. And a lot of people are starting to come around to it. A cerebro? I shouldn't play that on curve. I want to though. I tell you what, I want to. Super icky hand. Can't give them a quake. Really don't want to play cerebro on curve. Scarlet doesn't matter that much. We can just get it out of hand. Disaster. Disaster avoided. Uh, we have to be ready for Sandman. We have to be ready for Sandman. We should probably start cerebroing. Sandman on five is very likely. Wakanda forever! Kind of forever, by the way. I want to be behind. Guarantees I'm always behind, I think. Sandman middle, Odin left.
And they could they probably should just play the Red Hulk middle. They'll probably just play Red Hulk middle if they're good. But if they're bad, then they'll win. Forgot about Red Hulk and that they could just play that. Ted Sepikin's pretty good. They'll probably just find Red Hulk middle. It's just, it's too simple of a play. Oh, jeez. Through the tags. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay five dollars. Check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Yeah, the, you know my problem was I was just too locked in the fact that they're gonna Odin, and I knew their exact line, but then I just forgot that they could just choose not to Odin. It's tough, right? Because it's hard for us to like get ahead enough. Maybe I should have just like realized that I could. Find winning lines elsewhere. I thought myself a little bit, yeah. I knew exactly what was coming, I just didn't find a way to beat it. How about a blade boosters, man? Go for another um, split on this uh, this sentinel. This one's pretty cool. I like the Sentinel. I do like my base Sentinel a lot. Maybe, no, let's go for another base Sentinel split. Where is my base Sentinel though? Right, right here. Let's go for another base Sentinel split. Let's try and get some Crackle on it. Uh, put your bets in. This is like the seventh split, so it could be anything. You have a minute. Best your pieces wisely. Uh, we're going to play about, when I get back, we're going to play about 10 more minutes of Snap, then we're going to switch to Balatro. Uh, just to let you know. See you in a second. I might have been checkmated that game though. The more than I'm thinking about it, I might have been checkmated because no matter what my play, they could beat me with Zola or no matter what my play was, they could find a way to beat me with either Zola or whatever. Because if I had not moved the Jeff, I wouldn't have priority and then the Zola always gets me. It's tough. Uh, let's see what we get. Man, I gotta open all these, huh? I'll do it at some point. Welcome back, ad enjoyers. Thank you for enjoying the ads. This split is for you. Pretty good. Maybe I should have moved Mojo mid instead. Um. Yeah. Then I couldn't have played mid and I would only had two mid. 
And then I could have beat Zola. No, that's a good point. Yeah, Dave the Buck. I think I think maybe quaking to get Mojo mid would be better. Not too shabby. I think I like the purple better than the black, because you can't really see the black. Let's not delay. Let's try and get a few more highlights in. Hard to say no to that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have for Mystique reasons. Shouldn't have done this for Mystique reasons. Let's pretend like that matters. Now it doesn't matter for me because I cannot use that extra energy at all. Quake left cheeky, yeah. I think Quake left will be good eventually. We have to get to our Cerebro still. <laughs> Fight me for right. You know you want to. Yes. Yes. Yes, do it. Battle me for the right side. We ever play Scarlet Witch middle? No, we can't play Scarlet Witch middle. We ever play Scarlet Witch right, left? We might need 20. We might need 20. We might need 20. I guess it shouldn't matter, so because we'll win right and left. I don't want to cast all them. I guess I could have zeroed Scarlet Witch. Look at that Morbius grow. Look at the Morbius grow. Look at him. A little half baked. Reviewing pleasure. Victory. Man, I could have just won by playing two cards right. It's kind of crazy. What about Master Mold? I don't understand what that question is. What about Master Mold? You want me to play a 2-2 two, two that gives my opponent two good cards? In my Cerebro 3 deck? This is what I'm we sure got. everybody's a big fan. Rotor! Thank you so much for the 10 months! 
10 whole freaking months. Thank you, thank you. Which game world trip would have been insane? It would have been a pretty crazy tie. I have this avatar. I have this infinite avatar. It's what about Kang? Or like why about Kang? You know what I mean? So obvious what must be done. Why is Kang? Wait. I can't do the quake thing. Because if I quake right, then it turns off my Cerebro. Uh, Red Guardian would be great in this deck. Red Guardian would be wonderful. And Quake left. Ah, yes. Well, no, then they're just going to win. Because they're going to have much more power. It's not going to work. I should have just played Cerebro there. I don't know why I played Jeff. This isn't going to work. I shouldn't have played Jeff right. I panicked. DC six and Quake left, but then I would I would just lose. Their cards are going to get bigger than mine by like a lot. the thing. The problem is they're still going to play a bunch of power middle and we're just going to win Nexus and lose the game. You know what I mean? It's like by far the most likely situation.
Yeah, I don't know how we could have worked this game out. Anything but Shuri's Lab right, and I would have won. Pretty easily, I think. Maybe I should have played another card right to try and win right and left. Because the extra three that we get from left is a lot less than the extra eight that we would get. It was cool, but I don't know. We could have done a lot better. The Shuri's Lab really ruined my whole vibe. Bit of a vibe killer, if you ask me. I know New York, it's a 50-50 game, so true. Might as well just retreat if it's just going to be a 50-50 game. What's the point of playing? <laughs> this land can never be fully known. You're, you peace. Which Shuri's Lab as I had priority? Uh, yeah, but like, the damage had already been done. As far as my cards costing six. Throwing left. This sucks, man. This is terrible. But it's not the last buff on, on cable. I, I mean, it's tr it's true. You're not wrong. That's a that's something I could have thought about. But also just playing any card right would have won. There's Cerebro 6? I don't know, I should have played another card last turn. That was a pretty big mistake. I have to get over 16 here. I don't think, I, I literally don't think I can. Tie 16, but if we tie 16, we just lose. Should have played another card last turn. That was a mistake. Maybe they rearranged something. Cards. 
Mm. Hockey Bird left for the one too. Maybe if we had worked it out. Maybe I should have thought about Hood going left. No. Oh. Double Cannonball is scary. Alright, we're gonna the last game here. We're gonna switch over to Balatro. There are two people patiently waiting. Three people patiently waiting on the ba Balatro stream. Okay, we got a Scarlet Witch location. Dark Dimension. No, we play a two here. We want to try and squeeze these in on, on other turns. Let's play the US Agent left. We can Quake Nibblier away if we need to, if we don't get access to Witch. It was crazy for us, if we can make it work. Let's go Zero Blade here, we don't really have many other better plays. Yeah, we're gonna raid to Balatro. Not Cerebro. Thank you for thinning my deck opponent. I appreciate you. Just make this swap now. Cerebro. Sandman middle beats us. Ugh. This beats us too. Maybe, actually? Wait, we might beat this? No! Oh, it's just Cerebro! No, Cerebro's gonna make us lose middle! Domino, even it is rolling the dice, man. Oh, well, I guess we we're gonna lose left either way. No, we weren't. We weren't gonna lose left because of the the Zemo moving right. He's woke up your entire neighborhood. You should stop. You should turn the volume down on your TV, man. That's really unhealthy. 
you're gonna you're gonna cause some huge problems all right chat we're switching over to balatro thank you all so much for being here if you're just here for snap and you want to leave i understand i would absolutely love for you to stick around for balatro i think it's one of the most amazing games that's come out this year uh i am in love with it and uh i think that it's a lot of fun and i think that you'll enjoy it too if you give it the chance uh if you're over on the youtube side you're gonna get raided into balatro once i get it all set up uh we are playing on the experimental patch which is very exciting yeah, there's a brand new big Balatro patch last week. Uh, and a lot of cards were changed, and there's a lot of really cool things happening. Uh, let me get my Balatro Twitch scene set up here. Uh, Balatro is a poker based roguelite. Where you build and improve your deck. Thus getting stronger and stronger. If you don't know, I play Balatro. There's daily videos that come out on my second YouTube channel. So if you're looking for more ways to watch Binks, that is by far the best way to do it. Exclamation point Balatro. Uh, YouTube fam, I'm going to turn off the YouTube stream and then reopen the other YouTube stream. I've never done this before. I hope it works. Let me know if you end up in the Binks Extra YouTube chat. Uh, but we're gonna try that right now. Goodbye, YouTube, and I will see you in a second.